Hey guys, Brocast Beach Cooks, Jess. I've just messed up and not pressed record when I meant to, so you've missed out on a tiny bit of what I've got going here. Here's the action in the fry pan. But really, all I have done so far is just use my handy Moroccan spices or whatever it is. Got lots of thyme and salt and pepper in there. Check it out. Um, on one side of my chicken and I put it into my hot pan. I'm really hungry. I've been out all day. I had an awesome breakfast up at the little markets up at the, up the road in the next village up from me. Um, one of my friends was doing markets. She needed a bit of support so I went up to her place for a few hours. We picked some nice oranges and tangerines from trees and she squeezed it right there on the spot. So I've had some of them after having delicious food at the markets but now I am so hungry. So lucky I had this ready in my fridge. I'll be able to eat that chicken breast straight away. They'll cook quicker. These ones with bones, they're going to take a little bit longer to cook with the bones through. So I'll, let's just have a look. So that's on a medium high heat. I want more of that yummy spice. So yeah, I've already spiced the other side that we've put down. Rice bran oil in the pan, nice and hot, or sizzling away. Okay, and yeah, I made some. Oh, hold on, I'll go grab it. You watch that. Okay, I've got some chicken breast. Okay, so I used the roast vegetables that we cooked on Wednesday. I cooked them. I had two parties to go to. Um, one housewarming and one fiftieth yesterday, so I was able to take a nice big full tray of these to both. So I, I used the pa almost the whole packet of couscous. I chopped up some of the steamed pumpkin, the sweet potato, potato. I got some lettuce from the garden. I've got a big jar of olives, so I threw them in. Onion. Um, oh, I put some garden chives in there. And then I made a really nice dressing. I'll go grab that. I'm very disorganized. Watch my cooking. Make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, so that was my dressing. Oh, that's gonna start in. Oh! <laughs> that's freaking me out. Okay, so I made made my dressing. I just measure straight into a jar. So I had um white wine vinegar up to about there. I put in about a half a tablespoon of minced garlic or teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. So it was just two small cloves, um, a teaspoon of mustard and I then put in, it would have been a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. I filled it up to about there. So I put my couscous Together, I didn't cook it to the packet directions. I prefer just to do equal amounts of couscous and boiling water. Um, give it a quick stir, put a lid on top, leave it for another minute, and give it a quick stir. I find it just goes, well, some bits went like that because I cooked, I did so much. Goes into like these little chunks. The packet directions said to cook it for like about five minutes. It was crazy. Would have all gone to glug. So I'd sat that in the fridge for a little while while I went out. Um, came back, chopped my veggies straight into into a big bowl full. Um, added everything, poured a heap of that over it, mixed it all through, separated it into three trays, which is awesome because then I come home starving like I am now and I can eat. It came in pretty handy when I came home at about 10.30 last night too. No drinkies though, that's very good. Told you I was disorganized, we need a pair of tongs. Oh, where are you? There. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I'll turn everything else over. The wings will cook through faster, of course. So with the legs and the wings, I'm aiming more to seal them off and because I, I can't finish them in the oven or anywhere, I'll just turn my 
pan down to a lower heat um, and pop the lid on and leave that. Yeah, so um, I had a yeah, very busy day yesterday and today. Home starving. Dinner's going to be, well not dinner, afternoon tea is going to be ready in a flash. I'll see you in a moment when I'm plating up. Okay, quick look at the chicken. I think it's nearly done. Awesome. So hungry. Oh, just giving it a little squish there. That side's looking good. That side of the pan gets really hot. It's nearly there. I'm just going to leave it on for a moment. But I'm going to start, I'm going to turn it down to that number two on mine. So a, a low heat. Um, just, just quickly while I've got you. So because I did all that prep and I was a bit busy yesterday morning, I had three events to go to um, and take food to them all. So I've shown you the couscous salad. Um, that's the uh, look. I'm very proud of myself. Um, showing my little homemade frittata off. Um, this one once again has got the potato, pumpkin, sweet potato in it. I also put some kale down the bottom. And I was very proud because I managed to cook that on my stove top and finish it in the grill. Normally I would do a frittata straight in the oven. Um, so I, I put some baking paper down, I put the kale in, I put the potatoes on, then I whisked up six egg whites, separated my eggs. I, I seasoned the vegetables in the pan, whisked up six egg whites, um, poured the yolks in and gave them a quick whisk through. So in that way it made it really fluffy. I didn't have to use any cream. There is feta in there as well. I forgot to say that. Um, and it saved me a lot of money actually because I only had to use six eggs instead of like um, eight to nine in, in something that size. And yeah, it, it's lit out of the pan. Okay, so I've shown off with that other cooking. <laughs> Let's have a look at what's happening here. Okay, that chicken is done. The other side, oh, so nicely caramelized. I'll just turn the legs. I'm just going to turn the legs up on their side. I'll just sort of jam them in the wings. Because, yeah, it's getting very crisp on that side. Put that back there. Find my lid from another fry pan that fits. Okay, I've got that down to the lower heat. when you buy dodgy sand. <laughs> oh my goodness, like, oh, I'll put some of them on top just so it looks good. You all, and now I've got something awesome to eat. All right, Road Girls Beach Cooks, me, Jess, like, Subscribe, share me around if you think it's worthwhile to your friends. Um, I'm really just here to share what I think the world needs at the moment. Everyone's really struggling. We need to get back to eating food that was put on the planet for us humans. We are human. Um, and that's stuff that more or less doesn't come from boxes. Yeah, keeps nice and healthy like me. Alright, peace out. I'm going to eat.